This is one of my favorite dishes, and it's also the favorite of my kids. And why I want to show you this dish is because I want to highlight the viability of chocolate made in barley. So, it's very simple. Take some cream, turn on the gas, and basically bring it up to the boil. And we'll pour it into this chocolate here. And this is 64% pure dark chocolate. And basically what I've done is I've just grated it, chopped it up, and then I'm going to pour this cream here. And it's important that you don't let it boil too hard. You just want to warm it up. And then we're going to pour this into here. Then I've got some cream that I'm going to whisk up. And while this is cooling down, we'll fluff up the cream and then we'll fold it all through and then we'll put it into our little chocolate jars and we'll have some coconut ice cream and some crumble on it. If you wanted to, and you wanted to do like a chocolate mocha, you could also add a cup of uh, espresso coffee in here and you'll get a chocolate espresso. So that's about right. So I'm gonna just pour this into here. Now we'll just mix this through. It's very important that you turn the bowl as you're stirring. Otherwise, you'll find that it'll slop up and spill over very easily. Now you can see that it's come nice and rich and thick, which is what you're looking for. So it's very important that you cool this down because both the cream and the chocolate has to be at the same temperature almost. Let's just pop this into the fridge. Let's take the cream, add it into here. And then we're just gonna whisk it up. And again, be very careful when you're whisking cream that you don't over whip it. Otherwise, it will split as well. Take about maybe four to five minutes to come up. And then we're going to fold both the chocolate and the cream together. So we'll just take this out, add it into my bowl here. And I just whisk this up a little bit more so it becomes a little bit more firmer. Nearly there. That's about right. Perfect. Now chocolate should nearly be ready. Let's have a look. I reckon that's almost ready to go. Let's see the temperature of it. Yep. So now I'm gonna take the cream and just fold this very lightly through the chocolate. Be careful that you don't do too much too quickly because you still want this to be a nice mousse. So you do a little bit at a time. Fold that through. If you knock out the air on this and you stir it rather than fold it, basically it becomes like milk chocolate. Just fold that through. There we go. I'm just going to transfer this into a jug because otherwise it makes it a bit more difficult. Oh, you can see that coming through. Look at that. The kids are going to love this. There we go. Beautiful, silky chocolate mousse. Who wouldn't want this at any age? Now, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and let them set for about half an hour. So I think the chocolate is almost ready, so let's have a look, shall we? There we go. Yep, I think it's just perfect. Oh my God! God, the kids are all here. So, are you ready for some chocolate time, kids? Yeah? Okay, let, let me get some ice cream as well. Okay, you love chocolate, don't you, Caleb? You like it more, Mishka? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got some ice cream here. Let's scoop that up. Oh, look at that. Plop. Now, let's sprinkle some crunchy stuff on top. There we go. And then let's put a little bit of mint on the side, because that's for a bit of color, yeah? And then, it's all up to you guys. Now. Tell me what you think. Is it a winner? Come on, take the chocolate right down there and have a taste. Yummy. Oh, how many out of 10 do I get? 10. 10? 10? Fantastic. Chocolate is just a winner for all the kids. And this little recipe, you can knock up any time at all. Let's have a taste, shall we? Mmm. Give me a taste of yours. Oh my god. Um, oh, that's so good, isn't it?